national standards were neither national nor standard. Right. <laughs> Order. Question number six. Mm. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable mm. Jonathan Cowan. To Honourable the Minister of Health. What measurable outcomes, if any, will his policies deliver? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Dr. David Clark. Better health for New Zealanders. How will the government afford the cost of the $1.4 billion rebuild of Dunedin Hospital, given that the extra $8 billion for health is, in his words, pretty much spent? Uh, Mr Speaker, from the existing capital allowance. <laughs> Can he confirm that he intends to seek $1.4 billion of capital for the Dunedin Hospital rebuild in Budget 2018, and if not, where and when will the cost be booked? Mr Speaker, budget processes are underway now, as that member will well know. He was in government for nine years. Surely he understands how this process works. If the $8 billion for health is pretty much spent, why doesn't he use a public-private partnership to fund the Eden Hospital so that an extra $1.4 billion could be freed up for more specialist appointments, more operations and for the many unfunded promises that he continues to make? Uh, Mr Speaker, the overseas experience is that those who have entered into public-private partnerships have ended up paying many times over for the experience, that the health care delivery has been poor, and I'm absolutely delighted that we were able to scrap the public-private partnership model for the Dunedin Hospital because it made no sense. The Mayor of London describes the hospitals over there as a noose around the necks of the citizens. With Pete Hodgson running the Dunedin Hospital rebuild and a PPP being ruled out, does he understand why The Lancet, the world's oldest medical journal, says in its November editorial that with Jacinda Ardern, Marxist ideas have re-entered the political debate in health. Order, order. Oh, come on. The member clearly has no responsibility for either the Lancet or the comment. Um, order. A, Mr or, Speaker, I seek leave to table an article from the Lancet, an editorial, it, November the 4th, it, 2017. It, it, can, I, can, I, can I ask whether uh, the Lancet is a widely available journal? You probably wouldn't get it at your local dairy, Mr Speaker. <laughs> thank, thank, I thank the member. Uh, any further supplementaries? No. Question number seven. Supplementary? Supplementary? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Angie Warren Clark. Thank you. Uh, what action is the minister taking to improve outcomes in mental health in New Zealand? Uh, mental health is a key priority for this government, as signalled in our 100 day plan. Work is underway to establish a ministerial inquiry into mental health and addictions. I've asked that this inquiry be broad and cover a variety of topics. There are three further steps we'll be taking in the near term to address current shortfalls in mental health provision. We're progressing work to extend school-based health services, a nurse in every secondary school. We're also planning on piloting mental health coordinators in GP practices. And finally, we are making primary care more affordable and accessible for New Zealanders. Once again, question number seven. Mr Speaker, question, the to, Nikki question to the Minister of Education.